Yo guys, we're back for day number two of the vlog. Day number two of SPL Championship Series. Um, let me think what teams are playing today. Today we're playing Woodford and we're playing Ormo. Uh It's gonna be some strong matches. I know they have some strong sides, so uh, we'll be fighting to, to to, to try and beat them, to try and get a draw or something. Um, let's see how it goes, guys. All right, hey guys, we're back with the second video, second day, um, with the first match, which was Oli versus Vladi. Vladimir. Um, he's a Bosnian player, and uh, he's playing for Woodford Wells as the number two. Um, Oli got off to a very strong start in this match. He, Went 2-0 no up, um, some close games, but um, yeah, he went 2-0 no up and Vladi uh, eventually started bringing it back. Um, gave a good battle, uh, Oli struggled a little bit in the following sets and they ended up going 2-2. Uh, in the fifth, we did have Oli winning 3-2 in a great battle, great game. Um, here's the rest of the points. Now the following game was Adam Dennison and Brian Kwan. Now, Brian Kwan was just playing too strong, too solid for Adam Dennison, unfortunately. He did lose three now. All right, next up was my match against Adam Alibi. Adam Alibi is one of the, one of the best cadets I'm pretty sure he's a cadet, yeah. He's one of the best cadets in our country right now. Um, top players, he's played Europeans um, this year. Um, and I was actually quite nervous for this first match, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, he played pretty, very good. Um, put some pressure on me. At the first set, I managed to get to, get off to a good lead and um, take it quite, quite comfortably. Um, but that wasn't the rest of the game, to be honest. He, Definitely stepped up and started playing a little bit better, um, causing me some problems. It was the first match as well, so I wasn't like I, I don't know. I was so a little bit, a bit tight in the first match, not, not playing too fluid, missing some balls here and there. Um, and he definitely took advantage of that, um, forced me to make some mistakes at times that I felt like I shouldn't have been making, but it happens. Um, he definitely made mistakes too. So it was very much a back and forth game. Um, it was like one person could win three, four points and then the next person could win three, four points in a row. Um, but yeah, the main thing is to just try to stay calm, try to get in the rally, try to just get in with some heavy spin, make him block off the end or block high and then I can get in with a more powerful shot. Um, lucky enough, it ended up working. Um, I managed to stay stable, keep my nerves under control. And I did win this match 3-1, close 3-1, but I did manage to win 3-1.
Now the fourth match was Owen Brown versus Emmanuel Asante. Uh, this game was close, relatively. Um, Owen Brown definitely had his chances in the first and second set, but um, Emmanuel just managed to take both games and then he managed to win 3-0. Three, three um, evening out the scoreline and it ended up being 2-2. Two, two. Um, so we're heading into our next game where Oli did face against Brian Kwan. This was a great game. Oli came back from 2-0 no down. Um, unfortunately, he did lose in the fifth. Um, if you guys want to watch that full match, you can go on over to TTE. Um, it should be there on the live stream somewhere. But yeah, it was a great game. Oli unfortunately lost 3-2. Now, my next game was against Vladi, Vladimir. Um, yeah, what can I say about this match? This match was very much about service receive and like getting your third ball in. It wasn't really too many rallies in this game. Um, it was more focused on trying to serve short, trying to get in first. Um, whoever basically got in first kind of won the point. Um, he did have better receives, I think, in the end which uh, caused him to win, especially uh, when the sets were tight. He was receiving a little bit better, serving a little bit better. So I did end up losing 3-0. Um, first two sets were kind of close, 11-8, 11-8. But yeah, he was too comfortable, I think. He was receiving quite comfortably. Yeah, didn't have too much problem blocking as well. So he ended up winning. And yeah, our team was 4-2 down at this point. Now, unfortunately, um, with my loss, Adam Dennison and Owen Brown's loss as well, um, we couldn't turn around the match and we ended up losing to Woodford Wells 6-2 uh, with um, Brian Kwan and Emmanuel Asante winning two games each. Um, yeah. Now, starting off the next round, we have going in the table tennis club versus Ormu um, and we have Adam Faulkner versus Oli Cornish this was a great game very close as well um, Adam Faulkner uh, he's got quite a different type of style he likes to serve a lot of like half longs step around and make a counter and stuff like that um, Oli you know quite a stable player goes in with his backhand control on the table and stuff um, yeah it was always going to be a, a good game Adam Falconer did have his chance to take this game as well. He went two or not. And um, only managed to come back and take it in the fifth set. Great game. Uh, you guys can see the rest of the points. <laughs> Next up, we had Owen and Colin Nugent, where Owen Brown actually managed to come back from 2-0 down and take it in the third and the fifth. Um, massive comeback. 
and it's managed to put us in a 2-0 lead. Alright, this was my third game against um, one of my good friends um, from Ireland, Irish national champion, uh, Jim Skelton. Um, we go uni together, so we train a lot. And he knows my game quite well, I know his game quite well. Um, so this was always going to be a close match between us two because we played each other so many times. Um, this is our first official match. Uh, so yeah, I had a couple tactics that I was thinking might work. Um, I don't think he's ever received this new pendulum serve I'm doing a little bit, higher toss. Um, so I guess I might have caught him off guard a little bit for the first first set. Until he started adapting to it and then I had to start changing up tactic, tactics again. Um, this was a good game though. Uh, he he did his usual thing where he does the... the, the this pendulum serves a short forehand and then it serves quite like half long, long towards the backhand side. And he controls really well. Um, yeah, I just managed to play pretty well, keep my nerves, try to do the same thing, which is getting first, get into a rally as per usual, and then try to dominate the points like that. Um, so yeah, I managed to take this game 3 2 from um, being down 2 1. And. Yeah, here are the rest of the points. So next we had Oli and Jonathan Mooney. Uh, Oli got off to a great start in this game, um, playing very well, very consistent, managing to, to get a 2-0 lead on Mooney very early in the game. Um, Mooney found some sort of level, managed to catch a rhythm of, of what he's playing style, I guess, and he managed to come back. Um, maybe he found some momentum with some crazy shots, like the two-handed backhands he's gonna play. Um, and then, yeah, after that, it was kind of just, Lights out for Oli. Johnny was playing super consistent, super well. And yeah, he managed to take the game. 3-2. Mm -hmm.
was Adam Nelson's last match of the weekend where he took on Conor Nugent. He managed to get a good, good win for us, putting us in a 4-2 position um, where either Mew or Owen Brown just had to win the last match to get the, the team win. And here was my last match where I took on Adam Faulkner. Um, me and him had previously played actually uh, earlier this year, I think in, was it April? Around April time, uh, where he managed to beat me, beat, beat me through one. Uh, it was quite a close game. I uh, played really well. Um, I wasn't, again, the style is quite, quite, quite strange. I'm not used to someone just trying to serve half long and just counter everything. Um, so yeah, I was definitely prepared for that today. Uh, trying to trying to catch these half-alongs, play them a bit deeper, and I'm also trying to expose this forehand side a little bit more because I knew he was going to try and pivot a lot. And if I ever got caught in a backhand backhand rally, I was just like, it's okay. I should probably win that. I felt like my backhand was a bit better than his. Um, so yeah, I did that. Those were my tactics. I also tried to play a lot of pendulum serves because he wanted to receive a lot of his forehand side. So I tried to pin him out wide on the forehand side, backhand side, make him receive with his forehand, and then just go straight out to his forehand. Um, again, so short, short side spin, back spin, more towards the short backhand side, and then try to open up cross. Um, yeah, trying to be aggressive. Um, other than that, it was quite a strange, flowy game because they did go back and forth quite a bit. Though, um, though I did have the, the tactics, he he did try and neutralize them a lot of the time, pivoting a bit less, playing a couple of backhands. Um, but well, lucky enough, I managed to prevail and I managed to win this, win this match 3-1, which gave us the team win of including my weekend where I won six out of eight matches as number three in the team. Um, and this was the last match where we won 5-3. Um, this left us third on the table overall. So not a bad weekend at all. I think everyone was probably happy with their performance. Um, so yeah, let's get on for the next weekend. It's end of day vlog. We've got ending the vlog now. We've got the guys in the, in the car. We've got Napo at the back. Um, we just, we lost to Woodford Wells 6-2, was it? 6-2. Um, some good matches, um, some good wins from people, but they ended up being too strong for us. He was terrible. <laughs> Very terrible. Oh, Brown, thank you. Very terrible. <laughs> oh, Brown didn't play too good. But he, he came back and he really got us a, a huge win. Um, I won two against Ormu. We, we beat Ormu 5-3 and we managed to win two. Owen came through with one good win against uh, Conan Nugent. And so did Adam Dennison and Oli also had beaten uh, Adam Faulkner. So good. We got one win, one loss. I think we're gonna be. I'm gonna put somewhere on this video right now where we are on the table right now. We're there on the table right now, and uh, yeah, we'll see what November brings. So that's the first weekend done. Hope you guys enjoyed the two-part series. <laughs> Peace.